and certainly a damaging day across southwest and central Virginia. That tornado report in Lynchburg also around forest and probably more to come here as the National Weather Service goes out in surveys over the next couple of days across central and southern Virginia. But you can see those storm damage reports with trees down over Pennsylvania County, Danville as well, and very large hail reports into the new River Valley. A few spotty trees down here and to Craig also Roanoke County and Bedford County as well. More of those storm reports. Lynchburg tornado damage, forest tornado damage as well today. Danville tree and roof damage. Trees down in Newcastle and Hillsville had tennis ball sized hail. And right now the severe weather threat is over. Some good news. However, dealing with very heavy rainfall, notice all the yellows there across most of the region. Roanoke heavy rain moving in Blacksburg right now, also into Withville and Galax at heavy rain training over the same area. So flash flooding is a concern for tonight. So please use caution if you're traveling later on tonight and also tomorrow morning with some of those trees and also power lines down Lynchburg. Very heavy rain. All this continues to move to the north and to the east. Roanoke that heavy rain moving right over the city right now. So ponding of water on the roads likely Bedford moderate to heavy rain right now. Also into Franklin County, Rustburg pouring right now. Also in Seneca, much of Campbell County, Appomattox County, just pouring buckets here and into Amherst County. Very hard hit there. And one last stop towards Parisburg, Withville, also Galax into Carroll County, seeing that last band moving on through. This pulls out of a region after midnight tonight. So overnight tonight, the call temperatures fall down into the 40s. It becomes gusty behind this front as those showers and downpours come to an end. So future tracker, here we are at 11 o'clock. The heavy rain over the region by 2 a.m. Notice what happens. That heavy rain starts to pull away to the north and east. Lingering showers or downpours finally come to an end couple of showers for tomorrow morning early on, but notice what happens snow here on the upslope side of the mountains as colder air moves on in along with a gusty wind tomorrow. Mostly cloudy out there as well. Maybe a stray shower, but it's windy and much cooler for tomorrow. So look at future tracker snowfall amounts talking about severe weather today and snow on the western slopes here through Monday could see a light coating in western areas on grassy surfaces, but really not much expected with that. So mostly cloudy tomorrow morning, 47 degrees. We're windy with gusts up to 30 miles an hour tomorrow. High temperatures only into the 50s. Here's the next seven days. 63 degrees, your midnight high temperature. We fall down into the 50s, then 30s for tomorrow night. We're gusty here Tuesday, partly cloudy, 55 degrees. Wednesday, nice, partly sunny, 73. And the good news is we are quiet for much of the upcoming week. Thursday, 68 degrees, mostly sunny, mostly sunny for Friday at 62, near average here for next Saturday, and a chance of showers here by Sunday with highs into the lower 60s. So, John, an active day. We're still dealing with the heavy rain out there for tonight, but the tornado threat is over.